To begin our coloring exercise, we're going to create a gradient at the top. It's going to go through the entire spectrum of colors, starting at red and making its way down to violet. Be sure to place your colors in the correct order so that they can properly blend together from one to the next. Notice as I color how I hold my pencil. I'm not holding it straight up like when you write. I'm holding it at an angle, much like we did with our shading exercise. I'm holding the pencil far away from the lead. This allows me to use a lighter pressure. Practice using an even back and forth stroke or use a small circular motion. As I apply color, I build up light layers slowly one after another. Try to avoid putting too much pressure on as you apply your colored pencil. This will result in a heavy waxy look that will be hard to blend with other colors. After I've applied my main section of a primary or a secondary color, I blend the two together to help create tertiary colors in between, overlapping them slightly. I go back over several times adding new layers to help better blend them together. After my violet, I add a little bit of a reddish hue to help create a tertiary color, red-violet, that would be in between those two. My last step, after I've added all my colors, is to go back over and start filling in any small areas I may have missed, as well as adding additional layers where it looks a little thin. This will help create a smoother and more gradual gradient as it transitions from one color to the next. After completing your spectrum up at the top, we will create a value scale using color. Your first box will be a light tint followed by a tint, the hue, a shade, a dark shade. The lowest box will be our darkest shade, which will be our closest to black. I start by evenly covering the box for my red hue. Remember, a hue is the pure color itself. The hue will be in the third box down from the top. I continue by adding some very light coverage of red in the top two boxes. The top two boxes are a light tint and a tint. Remember, tint is a color plus white. In this case, my white is coming from the white of the paper showing through. To help add a little bit more color to that without darkening it, I add another warm color over my red. In this case, I add a very light yellow. Next, I move on to my shade of red. Remember, a shade is a color plus black. For my first shade, I don't start directly with black. I add a layer of red, and then I add a cool color. In this case, I'm gonna add some blues and purples. For my darker shade, I will also add a complementary color. In this case, the complementary color of red is green. By adding a color's complement, you will help darken the color. You may also add cool colors. Cool colors will recede in space or look darker. Warm colors come forward in space and will also look lighter.
The very last color I'll add to my dark red will be black. The black will go on very strong and darken up very quickly. So you gotta use it very lightly. My last step is to go back over my colors and add any additional layers or additional colors where needed. You will continue this step for each primary and secondary color in the following boxes. Make sure to use a variety of colors to get a richer appearance.